Uh, this episode of Five Nights at Freddy's News is brought to you by Why Am I Doing This If I Have Homework? and Procrastination City, where everyone sucks at time management. I'm just kidding. This week we have a plethora of AR stuff, as well as some updates on Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. So, just what has Illumix got in store for us today? Find out right here, right now, on this installment of Five Nights at Freddy's News. and gamer gals i'm nathan from awesome gamer dude right here right now i'll be reporting on the latest five nights of freddy's news which includes a help wanted physical release and a new ar character and now without further ado let's get started with today's video last we heard from five nights of freddy's plus developer fiznom was just finishing up on character models and was getting started on constructing rooms for the establishment well just the other day he made a tweet announcing he was replaying the original five nights of freddy's including that it was for research purposes now although this doesn't directly confirm any sort of progress since phil is replaying the game itself rather than looking at screenshots he is likely doing research on animatronic behavior and movement after all, the logical step after completing models is adding functionality for them and you can't do that without understanding how they behave in the original game. Additionally, Fizzanom has been asking a lot of interesting questions lately, like which game is the most confusing and if people like the idea of a Five Nights at Freddy's PvP game. Now this could all just be for fun, and have no impact whatsoever, but I'd like to think that this has something to do with Five Nights at Freddy's Plus. Only time will tell, but Freddy Battle Royale would be super epic. I'm kidding, of course, no one wants to see Freddy Fazbear do the default dance. In other news, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted will be getting a physical release for the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. Both systems have a listing on Amazon, confirming it will cost $30 and will be released this December. At this time, we do not know if the physical release includes Curse of Dreadbear, but since it is only $30, I'd imagine it'll sell separately as DLC. Hopefully this means Security Breach will release before December, as I doubt they'd release this game knowing Security Breach will outsell it. I mean, Security Breach will probably outsell it anyway, but the sales will be significantly lower if they sell in the same month. Overall, I'm really excited for the physical release, and here's to hoping they add more content this holiday season. Okay, so I just got done recording the audio for this video, when yet another physical release was announced on Amazon, introducing the Five Nights of Freddy's Core Collection, which includes the first five games in the series in an all-in-one package. Rest in Spaghetti, Five Nights of Freddy's 6. Rest in Spaghetti. They should have done this a long time ago, as a collection is more worthwhile than just buying all the games separately. According to Amazon, it will also include some console-exclusive features, like achievements and, of course, cheats. All in all, I'm really excited for this collection, which is scheduled to launch January 12th, 2021. And finally, let's talk about Illumix's brand new merch, as well as the brand new AR character. So last week the company announced they would be rolling out merch, and as you can see they have successfully fulfilled that promise. We've got fire boys, toxic boys, retro boys, and heads. Lots of heads. This might be the best merch so far. Not only do these look professional, but it seems the designers had a lot of creative freedom. Although I myself won't be buying these anytime soon, it's good to know what's out there for people that want them. I mean, who wouldn't want Springtrap covered in goo? Ugh, why did I put that in the script? Anyway, if you'd like to check out the merch for yourself, there'll be a link in the description, as well as in the comments of this video. Speaking of comments, what's your favorite t-shirt in this collection? Leave a comment and I'll make sure to respond to you. Alright everyone, it's finally time to see which character will be joining the roster for special delivery. In a shocking turn of events, it's none other than... Jack O'Bonny. Yeah, I, I think we all saw this coming. Unfortunately, the character isn't released at the time I'm making this video, so we still don't know his mechanics. However, since Jacko Chica clouded up the screen with smoke, I assume Jacko Bonnie will do something similar. Regardless, seeing this character back after so many years is surreal, as his last appearance was over four years ago. Welcome back, Jacko Bonnie, and here's to hoping Nightmarion and Nightmare BB make an appearance sometime soon. Also, Buff Helpy needs to be added at some point. That creature is too frightening not to include in a Halloween update. 
That's all for this installment of 5 Nights at Freddy's News. In the description, you'll find links to everything discussed in this video, as well as my various forms of contact, which include email and social media. If you like this content, consider subscribing and share the video as it helps get the word out about my channel. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to be safe and have a spectacular rest of your day.